end of the market dwellings. We have a busy agenda and I'm asking you all to please keep up with the group on our brief tour of the property, another fine example in our current series of opulent offerings. And I'm afraid we don't have time for questions. <laughs> I'd like to stress that the family is interested in a prompt sale and we as Vigilante will take that into account should you opt for an early commitment towards ownership. If you need to use the lavatory, the water here has been turned off, so please use a public facility in the Paradiso Cafe opposite. This building was designed in 1930 by Karl Brummer in the neoclassical style at the rear. Here we have the modern 1960s late extensions uh, by another Danish architect, Peter Koch. It has a neoclassical, greasy, 60s feel to it with some gorgeous interiors. Do come in. Thank you very much. That's very kind. Some of the family's decorations and furniture, personal belongings, have been left here, but I assure you they will all be removed very soon. The family wishes to remain anonymous, and all commerce will be dealt solely through the Vigilante Group. You can trust us, we won't disappoint you. D.I.E. Discretion, integrity, efficiency is our mantra. Would you like a business card? <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. Um, party. Oh, Romeo, wherefore art thou? <laughs> I need to point out that the family had a penchant for collecting all sorts of things. Anything from insects to furnishings to various eclectic accoutrements. It's all very stylish and chic, if you like that sort of thing. Most of the artwork, I'm told, is authentic and made by some quite well-known names in the art world, so please do enjoy it whilst it's briefly here. Uh, the teenage girl who lived here was rather crazy, as teenagers do tend to be, so please excuse the uh, gothic nature of the room. <laughs> Do come in. <coughs> oh, do mind yourself. I'll try and hold the door open. We can all squeeze in. It'll be. I certainly do, sir. Absolutely. You're very welcome. Uh, we'll all squeeze in. It'll be like a teenage disco party, like a mosh pot or whatever they call it. Um, as I said, the family did leave a rather hastily, but this room could easily be converted into a classic Danish sauna. And uh, down here we have the escape hatch, which was used by the teenage girl. <laughs> I think that would easily make an excellent mm -hmm. large cat flap. Yes. Oh, yeah. Wouldn't it? Yes. yes. Now, the current owner is an architect. And being aware of the building's artistic and historical background is very desirous of passing it on to somebody of similar tastes and values. However, I'm sure that anyone would fall in love with the place. It has excellent transportation facilities and it does share with the rest of the city some charming seasonal water features. So we'll go through to the dining room now. Would you like to follow me? Please do mind the axe and the step. 
Just watch your hands at the X.